Hey traders, we're gonna have a look at, if my software will work, silver and gold. Let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. All right, hey traders, we're gonna have a look at silver and gold if the price is right. So silver had a nice, a nice, another nice pullback, uh, which I, I'm, a, I'm actually liking right here right now. I think this is a bit of a, bit of a nice sell off, nice sell off before we actually see uh, some, some downward movement through here. And oh, my software can do this now, is it? It is too. It is too. All right, so we're gonna go to the silver chart. And we're gonna have a look at the silver chart here. You can see how silver chart actually ran up through there. And I have a projected target down through here of around, so the $18 level. So $18.50 is sort of the support level there. Um, you know, and uh, and pro probably even down towards the $18 level. So really, really, really nice uh, pullback through here. The last pullback we had was down here. That was a 12% pullback. So far from high to low, we've had a 12% pullback. Hot diggity dog, look at that. So we've actually had a quite nice pullback already um, in the overall market here. We are, this this whole level through here is D-Day support level. But um, but if it does, if we do start to get a lot more selling um, in the in silver, I do see this coming down towards the $18 level where the support is. So looking at that there guys, um, you can see what is going on uh, with that. Um, and you can see that, uh, you can see that, yeah, you can see that this is this is exactly what's going on through here. Looking at the uh, the weekly chart, guys, and this is one thing I want you to keep an eye on for as you know as you're doing analysis and as you're going through. I want you to keep an eye on this um, this you know this this basically this weekly chart here. So let me just delete that off the screen. That was not a bull flag. It still potentially could be a bull flag. We're at that level of support, fifty percent support now. So let me actually take that off now. Um, and you can see that's where it's sort of close below there. So we don't need that anymore because that's not, not really valid anymore. Um, so you can see overall guys that if you just see this market's run up, went sideways, it's now having a pullback. Uh, I actually like this. I really like this bam, 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 coming down, coming down. This is gonna get people to start to, I believe, be bearish on the markets. And then you watch, I think it's gonna turn around and then something shoot right back up. I think September, September, October, I think we start to see, I think we break up and we just continue racing to new, Probably, probably up to the twenty sixth level for me. Twenty sixth level is I, I think I think that I think that's where it's going to be a minimum uh, by the end of this year. But hey, I could be wrong. That is my opinion. This thing could completely change. But the stair stepping momentum, uh, momentum guys, we're still making these major higher troughs, and that is the most important thing for me. If we start to break those troughs, then that's that's something I, I, I'm obviously not. Happy with, but you can see we have this support level here, support, support, support level. We had high trough, high trough, high trough, high trough, and looks like somewhere around about here, the 1850 to 18 level looks like we're going to form another high trough, and then I think we rally back up to the high side. So um, from now through to 18 dollar level, we have a strong level of support. Um, again, looking at this weekly chart, but this is a weekly chart, guys, right? It's some. This is going to take probably another couple of months for it to form out and rally back up. So. That's what I'm seeing there on uh, silver. I am still long and bullish on silver. Moving on to gold. Uh, I was actually said to you guys yesterday, it's really, really interesting that um, I said to you guys yesterday that easy tiger. All right, just, all right, can I? All right, let me do this here. Blow this up, blow that chart up, get my trend line drawing tools. There we go. So I said to you guys yesterday, I said it's really interesting when we actually had this fanning line here, when we actually had this support here, and let me actually bring that up, we had that support there, and then we had support here. Once it broke, it tested as resistance, resistance, and then actually broke down. But then, guess what? Then we actually had this other line. We had this other line through here that was now acting as support. And you can see how that, let me actually do this here, you can see how that this support level here was now resistance and resistance and it broke down. 
Then what I did is I just I just drew another support line through here. And I was saying to you guys yesterday that that it's doing the exact same thing. It's that support, support, lots of support, lots of support. It rallied down and it's rallied back up and it's had a lower close. I said if it doesn't shoot back above and we start to get a if we start to get a close below the low here, we should actually see some follow through on the downside. Um, and you can see how this support is now became resistance and now we're actually heading back down. So I see more downside on uh, on gold uh, for the short term anyway. I think I think uh, silver. I think I think the gold. Let me see if I can do this here. Oh my software, my software, my software, my software. So let's go have a quick look at the weekly chart and let's see what the weekly chart's showing us. Let's actually take everything off the screen. And, and guys, so I see this here, we have this weekly chart formation here. And as long as we keep pushing these major troughs higher, like, and what I'm talking about here is we have this sort of, we have this trough here. And if you look at this as a wave, guys, all right, guys, you want to look at this as a wave. You can see this had a wave up, a wave down. So this here was the next sort of major trough that it made. And now what does it do? It actually had, actually had a wave up. And now it's having a wave down. So as long as we as long as we stay above this trough here, um, and we make some sort of support level around this thirteen hundred level, that to me is still a bullish sign. And I still think overall, you can see this overall level of support around the thirteen hundred. I think is likely to be support. So we we may even get a drop down to that level there, scare some people out, and then and then and then start to rally back up and then take off again. So guys, that's what I'm looking at there on silver and gold. Um, but just remember guys, keep it simple, keep it simple, keep it simple. Uh, well, just depending on your strategy as well too. Don't ever get into a short-term trade and then get freaked out by a short-term pullback. Do you know what I mean? It's like whatever trading strategy you're trading, you've got to be within the rules. Don't say, I'm getting in now and I hope it goes up tomorrow. And and then suddenly that, that short-term trade, you're going to get in and just see, ho hopefully it goes up for another couple of days and get out, that short-term trade turns into a long-term trade. Don't ever do that, you know what I mean? Like you guys know, you guys know from the depths of my heart that you guys know that when I got into, when I got into SLV back here, uh, oh my software, oh my software. Because you guys know, or well, if you guys know, when I actually got into the SLV, um, and I actually got into here, and also this box here, this is where I got into as well too, long-term, out-of-the-money options. Um, so, again, guys, and my strategy, my strategy being in this here, and being in this formation here, um, my strategy was a long-term, was more of a long-term buy, and uh, long-term buy and hold, and as long as, look at that weekly chart, as long as we're still making that stair-stepping momentum, that stair-stepping movement, um, then that's 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 all that's all I need to worry about. So, but if we start to break some major troughs through overall here, we start to break some break major troughs, then um, then I definitely will be looking to I'll be looking to exit with what I've got and and moving on. So again, this is that that was that was my type of trade, and it looks like maybe just maybe. Um, the silver market might want to get down here. This little bit, this little flush down here, probably even down towards the lowest seventeen hundred. So, um, looks like we could have. Uh, so we broke that blow, blow that support level. So it looks like we could have another sort of three or four percent on the downside, running back down, pop maybe even down to the sixteen level. So, um, I don't like that, or I'm not happy with that that whole that whole pullback itself i thought we'd just hold here and we'd continue up but obviously that hasn't happened and i'm okay with that all right i'm okay with that why because as i said as i said before looking at silver and gold i see overall major stair stepping up and as long as we keep made, making those major higher troughs overall then uh then i won't be then i won't be uh, i won't be doing anything with my silver i'll be uh i'll be holding on until december but again, guys, this is what I am comfortable with this, all right? And I've said this for many months now, um, or I said it for the last month or so, that I am comfortable knowing that I have a lot more upside potential, but that means I'm, I'm also risking the, the profit that I've made. So the profit here, 
that I made from here to here is obviously going down. I'm still in good profit, but not, not as much profit, but I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm happy I'm happy accepting that um, that I could make a smaller profit on this one overall makes sense so anyway guys that's up that, that's that's the update for me hope you enjoy this silver and gold update remember success can be yours if you go claim it so step up take massive action and face your fears today I'm not going to BS you here trading is hard over my 10 years of trading I've learned some amazing systems and strategies and I've put it all in my brand new grab the markets by the balls course and I'm giving you 100% free access this whole course is 12 videos long and almost 10 hours of the best systems and strategies that I know. Click on the image below now to get 100% free access right now.